Hello, class. I will be your substitute teacher for the day. Your teacher, uh, Miss Johnson? Huh. Eh, she's out sick for the day. Quick, pop quiz. Do any of you know who the worst character in the game Super Meat Boy is? Ooh, too slow. I'll tell you, it's Tofu Boy. Tofu Boy is a secret character that can be accessed on the PC version of Super Meat Boy. And get this, to play as him, you need to type this really fast on your keyboard in the character selection screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're all too young to understand that joke anyways. Tofu Boy has the worst stats in the game. In fact, he can't even complete the first level. With this in mind, do you think Tofu Boy can complete this level? No. What about this one? No. What about this one? No. Well, in this lesson, I'm going to tell you why you're not just flat out wrong, but stupid too. This is why your ignorance will be your downfall, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm here to give all my findings and explain in detail about how you can be Super Meat Boy as Tofu Boy. I've discovered that across all five light worlds, there are only 17 unbeatable levels left till we can complete the game as Tofu Boy. 17 out of 100 levels. But I'm positive that number can go from 17 to zero. Wait, 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 wait. How many of you can even count to 17? Raise your hands. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, uh-huh. Timothy, put your hand down. I've seen you eat over half a wide ruled notebook before. I doubt you can even count past five with brain power like that. Yeesh. Let's start with my findings. How did I get the number 17 that I told you about? 17 is the total number of levels anybody can complete at the moment. You see, the number of levels I personally couldn't complete is actually higher in reality. 30 totals would be exact. The number 30 comes from how I graded each world. I graded each world off three types of levels. Those three types are possible levels. These are levels I did complete. Theoretical levels. These are levels I couldn't complete, but was super close, making them theoretically possible. And impossible levels. These are levels where I couldn't find any way to possibly complete them. Because Super Meat Boy allows you to skip three levels per world to unlock this boss stage, I could remove 13 levels from my total of 30, as these could all be skipped. So 30 minus 13 leaves us with 17 levels. In my research, I was able to beat 70 out of the 100 total levels as Tofu Boy. I was able to achieve this with the use of glitches. Now, beating Super Meat Boy as Tofu Boy without using glitches is impossible. But by utilizing powerful known glitches such as the auto jump glitch and the alt glitch, I was able to complete those 70 out of 100 levels. These glitches are all possible on the OG version of Super Meat Boy. If you're on Steam, right click the game, go to properties, betas, and change it to the OG version. Now you can do these glitches too. Let's start with the auto jump glitch. You can activate it by holding down the jump button, pausing the game, releasing the jump button, and unpausing the game. Now your character is inputting a jump press at every possible frame. This is necessary to do if you don't want your thumbs to look like this by the time you finish beating all these levels as Tofu Boy. The alt glitch is a bit trickier to explain, but I'll do my best. When Super Meat Boy is windowed or full screen, and you press the alt button on your keyboard, or you grab the window itself with your mouse, the game freezes. When this happens, the game is doing a bunch of calculations in the background. When Super Meat Boy is moving and the alt glitch is performed, you gain some interesting properties such as the ability to phase through walls. The game doesn't take into accommodation if Super Meat Boy is walking into a wall if frozen. All it really knows is that you were holding down a direction key and he was walking in that direction. This allows him to phase through walls and even walk across air. The game doesn't care if there's ground on you or not. As long as you're holding down the same direction key while the alt glitch is active, the game will make Meat Boy walk forward at that altitude until stopped. Just don't hold it for too long, or you'll still die to the off-screen death barriers. To leave the alt glitch, press the alt button again, or simply let go of the window with your mouse. The game goes back to normal, and you've effectively broken Super Meat Boy. This glitch also works vertically too, specifically when you are sliding on surfaces. It's the same idea, but when sliding up or down and the alt glitch gets activated, the game once again doesn't account for certain collision. In this case, the floor or ceiling. The game will ignore everything while you're sliding down until frozen. All the game really knows is that it should keep calculating your sliding position and momentum, as that's what you were last doing when it froze. Just be sure not to hold it for too long, or you'll run into that off-screen death barrier again. This also works with sliding up, but it's way more difficult, at least for me. When done by sliding up, the game will still calculate your rising and falling down momentum in the background, so you have to be a lot more precise with it. This is easier with Meat Boy because he has good sliding, but hard with Tofu Boy because his slides are so tiny. Using these two glitches only, I was able to complete 70 out of the 100 Light World levels you could play as Tofu Boy. And I have recorded proof of all my findings, so stay tuned. But how can we beat Super Meat Boy with 17 levels left? With your help, that's how. Yeah, you person watching me. I know you're in there, listening, watching, judging. And you, children of the future, the reason I have broken into... 
taken over it for your teacher was to spread awareness. Okay, on to the evidence. What are those 30 levels I couldn't complete, you may be asking? Well, to do that, we're going to explore my grading scale for each world. We'll start by covering all the levels I have deemed impossible and why. We will then move on to all the theoretical levels and how someone could complete them. And then I'll have a montage of all 70 levels I was able to complete. As you can see the routes I took to achieve this. All right, moving on to the levels. If you feel like any of these levels I have labeled as impossible or theoretical are actually possible, give it a try for yourself. If you can get some video proof, then we are one level closer to achieving the impossible. And remember, these levels are only impossible as of making this video. We could very well blow this wide open in the near future. This will give you all an idea of what might need to be discovered to complete these levels. Starting with all the impossible levels. World 2 had four levels I labeled impossible. Here's why. Tofu Boy didn't get enough height off the fan blades in level 4 to get any higher. I guess we know where Flywrench gets it from. We barely lacked the starting height on level 7, therefore we couldn't reach the cube on the left, and we couldn't get around the overhang on the right side, effectively softlocking us for this level. Level 11 was bad, because even if we teleported through the key, inherently missing the activation trigger, we still couldn't get the upward height to get around the needles sticking out of the walls. Level 20. This level almost made it to the theoreticals. We could make it all the way up to the last part of the level, but we got stuck on these last four jumps because we didn't have the means to get any higher up. So this was a bust. There were six levels I labeled as impossible for World 3. These were Level 2. We were so close to completing it, we could get outside and reach the roof, and while Banish Girl was right below us, we couldn't clip into the room horizontally or vertically. I also don't believe it's possible to beat it normally, so until something new is found, this is staying as impossible. Level 5. We couldn't get the momentum to make it to the next conveyor belt. Level 7. This was impossible for the same reason as level 5. And if we tried all glitching to the other side, we ran into the off-screen kill barrier before we reached something to stand on. Level 14. We couldn't alt to the other side. It was just too far. We also couldn't make the jump to the next platform to get more height. And alt clipping to it wasn't reliable, as the platform still moved behind the scenes even when the game was frozen. Level 15. While we could go back and forth to the top, our journey comes to an end, as we lack the means to get any more height up to Banish Girl. Level 17. We couldn't get back inside if we went out, nor could we scale the walls fast enough to escape the missiles. World 4 also had 6 levels that are impossible. These were Level 3. While we could clip through the lava, it would eventually come back down. And while we could keep clipping through it, we still couldn't climb very far up, as we simply needed a better jump or mobility. Level 5 didn't give us any height or enough distance with our clips. If we could get a little further right somehow, we could clip onto this platform and finish the level. I feel like this level is possible, but in my attempts, I wasn't able to do it. We were so close on 8. We could get to the top with some precise glitches and jumps, but we couldn't reach the top ledge. For level 13, we couldn't get up the crumbling wall fast enough and we couldn't get past the eyeball or up through the blocked off shaft. Level 14 gave us more trouble with the eyeballs. We just weren't fast enough to make it around them, and we were too slow to upward slide clip through the ground. Same with 15. If we could upward slide through the floor, we would be home free. I couldn't get it to work, but I came close. Otherwise, we couldn't get up and around the side to grab the key, nor move fast enough to evade the missiles. And finally, we had five impossible levels for World 5. They are Level 4. I'm not even sure it would help if you could get on the outside, because the push orbs wouldn't let you up the wall either way, even with auto jump. The only way I could think was using the ult glitch up high to fall farther into the push orb, then repeat that somehow until you reach the top. I couldn't think of any way around level 10. We just couldn't get the height needed to go anywhere, or even around the saw blades. If we could figure out how to get an increase in height or slide, this might be possible, but for now, it's not. We just couldn't get the upward height for level 11. This level is very possible though, if we could get up top. If we could get up top, we could either go over the top or up this side. Stand here and all glitch over to the room like shown. Then we are home free. Same thing with level 12. If we could gain some height, we could probably make it up and over as shown. We could then glitch across and to Banish Girl. The only thing that was still stopping us was the height. We would have to climb around this rim and that would be nearly impossible. 13. I don't think I need to explain much about why level 13 is impossible. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now for the theoretical levels. I- Aww, little Benjamin's too tuckered out to even pay attention. Not on my watch.
the tension at once. And no recess for the rest of you. I didn't have a ton of theoretical levels, but I wasn't able to complete these either, so they are still holding us back from reaching our end goal. These levels either require more skill than what I have, more grinding, or a route I couldn't think of. This is the only level in World 1 I couldn't complete, so this wasn't counted to the total, as we had already fulfilled the minimum requirements to move on to the next world. But nonetheless, I felt it should be mentioned. Level 11 was that one level. You could all glitch across here, jump up, and stand on the top of the crumbling blocks and if you're fast enough, initiate another all glitch across. Then, you can rinse and repeat until you reach the top. I say theoretically though, because the timing is so fast and precise that I don't even know if it's humanly possible. But in theory, it should work. We had two theoretically possible levels for World 2. We barely weren't able to do level 5. I made it up about halfway, but we just barely can't reach the wall in time after we get launched up by the fan blade. If you can figure out how to cover that distance to the wall, then it's undoubtedly possible to get the rest of the way up and all across the top to reach Bandage Girl. I wasn't able to do it myself, but I feel this level is super close to being possible. 16 was also very close. You can alt and cover the gap from the laser. Auto jump up here until the last second, and then hang a left. You can actually just barely reach the next ledge by auto jumping, and this is the only part that is stopping it. Nothing else is reachable for a higher position, but if you could time your alt so that you come out of it just as the laser turns off, giving you the maximum time to scale the wall, quickly engage auto jump, and jump around this corner here before the laser gets you, you're basically home free to reach Banish Girl. I wasn't able to do it in my attempts, but I also feel that this level is possible if someone just put enough time into it. We also only had two theoreticals for World 3. They were level 12. We could theoretically auto jump up the side, stand here on this hazard, and alt through the saw blades each time they appeared. We could then all glitch across to the other side, perfectly jump up this, then rinse and repeat until you reach the top. The obvious way would be to go outside, but that doesn't work as it's a flat wall with nothing to stand on. Therefore, we can't get back inside, so that doesn't really work. And level 20. We could get to the conveyor and over to the first area. Theoretically, we could clip through the wall and alt onto each platform as the rocket fired. We could grab the key and potentially wait out the timer in alt mode, or dodge back and forth. The hardest part would be avoiding the missiles, but this level is definitely doable if you had the skills. What is this? A paper airplane in my classroom? Jonathan, detention at once. World 4 had two theoretic levels, and those were level 2. Our only problem with this level was that we couldn't make it past the halfway point. If we attempted to all glitch from this point, we were too low for anything and too far away. We also couldn't make the jump up and around, but if a place to stand on was discovered higher up, this could be doable, as we could land past the saw blade and back onto the moving platform with precise timing, and then finish the level. 18 is pretty much possible, I just couldn't do it myself. I managed to get this clip into here somehow, but only one time. Otherwise, with some good timing, you could more reliably alt clip from the moving platform and you could land on top of Banish Girl over here. The timing was just incredibly precise and I wasn't able to get it in my tons of attempts, but I know it's possible. I just didn't have the hard proof of it being finished. Finally, World 5 has three theoretical levels. These are level 14. The gap was far too wide to alt glitch across and there are two feasible options I could see. One would be to land on this rock here, glitch to the next, and then to the wall. You then might be able to wall slide up through the key blocks, or you could slide down this wall into the key room. You could back up a tiny bit and teleport through the key blocks again. With that, the key blocks on the other side have opened, so we could all glitch to each platform and to the wall and eventually up to safety. The only problem would be avoiding the annoying enemy long enough to get to the top. I feel like it's possible, but I wasn't able to make it happen in my tons of attempts. We made it very far in level 17. This route you're seeing got us almost to the top. I say almost because I just couldn't scale the wall fast enough to avoid the missile. Maybe a back and forth jump could have let me dodge it, or a precise alt glitch to let it pass through me. But all we have to do is touch the ground up here for a second, and we could alt glitch over to Banish Girl safely. It's so close, but I just couldn't pull it off. We could make it three-fourths of the way through level 19, but we didn't have the speed to scale the disappearing blocks. So, while we had potential with these window holes, they didn't really help in the end. My only solution at the moment would be to teleport from this button area onto the wall as it appears. You might then have enough time to scale to the top, but knowing when the blocks are going to appear and disappear is so hard to time properly, and I was unable to do it in my attempts. Okay, onto the possi- What's that noise? No! This isn't how this is supposed to go! There's not enough time to show you everything! Children! You need to find more glitches in Super Meat Boy. We are so close to completing this, but I need your help. I hope you are taking good notes, because it is up to you now. 
and how you can beat Super Meat Boy with Tofu Boy is with the community's help. You kids just need to find one more major glitch, complete all the theoretical levels, and complete 17 impossible levels. Then we've done it. Tell the speedrunners, tell the community, the New York Times even. I need to go now. The bad people did not want this information to get out, but it's okay. I left the slides on autoplay, so enjoy the rest of the presentation. Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh! Children, look away! Oh, that hurt!
I get my phone call, right? 